Well, uh, hello everybody. Welcome uh, to the Best Chef Awards Instagram Talks. My name is uh, Jonathan. I'm a Dutch chef and I will be interviewing uh, some of the world famous chefs um, and uh, yeah, just to share their story, how they're dealing with this uh, situation. Today we have a very special guest and I'm going to invite him right now. Uh, because we are waiting now on, uh, yes. Hey. Hello. <laughs> yes. Hello. How are you guys? Very good, actually. Uh, <laughs> okay. So, uh, for all the viewers, uh, maybe you recognize, uh, this chef. This is one of the world's, uh, uh, most famous and best chefs, uh, from Brazil, uh, Alex Atala. Um, hey, everybody. Hello. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, Jonathan. Uh, that's not possible right now. Um, <laughs> so, I just explained, we are um, asking uh, chefs around the world to share something about their situation and how they're dealing with this uh, time of crisis. Um, and, and of course, all around the world, uh, people are acting um, in a different way. Governments are acting in a different way. Um, and yeah, we, we, well, first question is, of course, Alex, how are you doing? I'm fine. I'm home. Uh, so I do believe this is the right thing to do right now. Stay in home, stay safe and stay positive. Cause, uh, be positive is the best way to inspire people. It is not a, I, I always said that the be afraid, it is, it is so have afraid for this situation is it, it is important it is it, it is vital it is it is fundamental uh mm -hmm. being in panic is dangerous panic didn't allow you to think it well acting well so we might you concern quite a lot about about, about the situation but uh, be positive be thinking about and trying to do as yeah as good as we can as inspiring people it's, it, it is a good uh, a good, good part we, we as a chef have a have a a, a, a strong voice and we might to keep uh, people inspiring as the consumers as the producers as mm -hmm. human beings yeah well that's that's a good story and of course uh, <laughs> it's a very positive story um, you say you're at home it's in uh, Sao Paulo right yeah Sao Paulo Brazil Sao Paulo, Brazil, and you're talking about insp inspiring other people, but uh, when you're at home, how do you do this? <laughs> well, through internet, <laughs> like yes. we are doing Sorry, right now. This is, but, 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 listen, there is something that never happens in the entire world. The whole entire world is blocked. But formally, we have this connection. We have this, this channel to put your voice, to share our feelings, share our possibilities. Uh, so, uh, uh, of course, I'm, I'm in home. I'm cooking every day for my family. I'm challenging myself to do new things, simple things. Uh, mm -hmm. In a way, we as a professional chefs in our daily life, we never start and finish one recipe. And we, as a citizen, as, 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 a, as someone who choose our profession, we have this possibility to buy the ingredients, mm -hmm. do everything, and share in the same moment. Which is, I, 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 I might, I, I might confess that I'm learning quite a lot in this moment. Which is, it's yeah. so nice. Yeah. Well, that's very nice. But uh, at the same time, um, your restaurant is closed, right? Yeah, 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 and so it's restaurant, it's home, but you have several Definitely. restaurants and also several yeah. projects. Yes, can you yes. tell us something about it? Is it all cancelled? Yeah. Or are you busy with some uh, like uh, uh, collaboration with some producers? How how does this work? Can you tell well, us something? This is this is this is tough. Yeah, 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 yeah. Restaurants are closed. Okay, restaurants are closed. Mm -hmm. uh, we are trying to keep the the whole team, which is a challenge for us because it costs lots of money. And yeah. we are trying to really avoid uh, uh, um, 
inspiring people. We, we might. We, we, are, we are really trying to avoid this because, uh, which is painful. It is. It is. Once, once people are fired or didn't have money, uh, we, 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 we can have. We can have easily a, 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 a social issue, mm -hmm. and we are trying to avoid it. We are. We are really. Even if you know that couldn't happen in Brazil, we have. A, we have. A, we have. A, we have a big. A big. Uh, social difference a big a, a big social issue yeah. and if uh, each chef if each restaurant each uh, 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 owner of your own business try to avoid it we can we, we, we can at least think do something positive which yeah. is very challenging in a way that we, uh, i'm talking uh, as a, as a, as a, as a restaurant owner okay yeah. in the other hand we have the foundation a tough foundation and this is another challenge uh because we might travel and everything is blocked right now actually yeah. indigenous people uh, didn't did, didn't have a a, a a way to avoid it the only single thing that we can do for support them right now mm -hmm. is please do not receive visitors. Doesn't matter if those visitors is uh, uh, tourists or people yeah. who want to support you, or even if it's a family, another indigenous people who comes to visit them. We might to block uh, 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 those those yeah, yeah, yeah. I possibilities to to. to... So uh, th things is, is it, it is it is not so easy right now. Um, yeah. But uh, we keep thinking that we are we, we might be positive and and, 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 and and try to find uh, or learn with this possibility mm -hmm. how how we can we can support them in a long distance. Yeah, because your ATA project is for the indigenous Amazon people, right? People Not only in Amazon, Amazon. We, we basically we basically working in Amazon, but we, we, yeah. we, we have another project in in whole entire Brazil. Uh, Brazil is a big big country, and of course we talk about, about a lot about uh, Amazonas. But uh, our focus is is the food chain. So we have projects nearby as well, even inside of São Paulo. Okay, great. But I think that's that must be something. Uh, you're working for this uh, foundation for a long time, and you're trying really to help people, people in the Amazonas, people around uh, your area. Um, but you actually say it's, that that's really it's it's really in lockdown now for the safety of yeah. all the the people. Um, yeah. And how uh, in the future can you do something else to um, restart again this project? Uh, the project didn't stop. Uh, we are just trying to figure out a way to keep it working, mm -hmm. which is a learning for us. So we might to face the problem with a huge possibility to learn. Uh, the way that we have been doing, maybe it's not the way that uh, will be in the near uh, in the near future. But uh, again, press uh, uh, didn't stop. Uh, we, we, we keep in contact. We, we have people in there. Uh, they send messages for us. Uh, the problem is we can't bring right now the, the produce that, that, that they have in there. So we have figured out a way. Um, Situation is, 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 is sad. The situation is tough. You but, cannot uh, help them. And, 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 and we, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. We, 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 we will not stop. Uh, it is a new uh, learning. That's, uh, that's very positive and very powerful that you still uh, really want to uh, make the best out of it and trying to find maybe creative ways to still support them. Um, yeah. But you are talking about uh, your own role as a restaurant owner and like keeping your staff, uh, keeping your staff safe. Um, but since the restaurant is closed, did business go down a hundred percent? Or yeah, hundred yeah? <laughs> percent. Did you did you start uh, like um, creating delivery ways like a take? Yeah, we, we are doing. Uh... With Dom, which is the fine dining place, we only do tasty menus, so of course it's impossible yeah. to do any delivery or 
take away. Uh, the restaurant Dom is 100% closed, uh, which is painful as well. Yeah. And but uh, Dal Vegito, my second restaurant, which is more casual, like Brasserie, uh, we are doing we are doing we are delivering for people who call. Oh yeah, yeah, you have the delivery. And, yeah. yeah, and it is working. I, I, we we are super happy. Uh, uh, the team are doing great, 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 great. Even because nice. uh, I'm not in there, uh, so my two chefs, uh, Giovanni and Catarina, they are doing. Uh, Unbelievable working in there, and, and it's uh, it is the, the, the we have a we keep spending like uh, we have been doing before. We uh -huh. have only ten or fifty percent of uh, our traditional income, yeah. so things are are, are really hard, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, not enough to stop us. <laughs> no, no, no. And, and, and keep being positive. And keep being no, positive. No, that's, that's what you say, keep being positive. I think that's uh, the best uh, message for people around the world. Don't give up and, and, and stay positive. No, no, never. Never ever. Um, if you decide to give up, please give up to give up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We are not allowed to hear it. We are about to keep fighting. And Alex, I'm from, uh, from Holland and uh, we have uh, government support for uh, staff costs up till yeah. 90%. If yeah, yeah, I heard closed. about it. Is there any government support in Brazil? Supposedly, yes, but uh, this government support didn't arrive yet. So legally we have, but uh, in fact, it, is, it isn't happened, which is a mm -hmm. big problem for small restaurants. Yeah. Uh, I, I might just say thank you, maybe for the the, the 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 God or someone who we did. We have a little moment. We have a little money. We have a, we, we have possibility to keep to, to didn't stop it or didn't fail or break our mm -hmm. restaurant. But uh, I don't, we don't know how long we can we we, we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll no, keep I, I, doing I that. Uh, but uh, it's more, uh, good friends of us, good, good friends, chefs, friends, they close their own restaurant and they don't know if they will, will reopen again. Yeah. So it is Terrible. super challenging. Yeah. What we are doing, what we are doing in is not only delivering in, uh, our recipes, our food, mm -hmm. We are also trying to support uh, local people, local local producers, selling their own ingredients in nature. Let's say like this: uh, uh, you can order by our web accounts uh, 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 for locals, uh, lo lo local consumers, right. uh, ingredients from Amazonas that are that are in fresh ones. Let's say like yeah, this: nice. it is and a way to like support. Uh, please. Oh, no, no. And uh, um, do you uh, make like a connection between the suppliers yeah, 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 yeah. and make a box we'll, or something? We'll, yeah, so sometimes box, sometimes uh, uh, the, 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 the ingredient, the fish, for example. Uh, mm -hmm. If you want a fresh fish, call us and our suppliers send or and, 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 and we take zero benefit on it. Zero benefit. Oh, wow. So uh, uh, even if you pay some imposts about it, it it is a way to support whole food chain. This is very important. I mean, mm -hmm. we, we we might to face the problem in three hundred sixty degrees. Uh, we might to face our problem. We might to face our customers' problem, but our producers as well. Uh, yeah. uh, so it's very important. It's, it, it is it is a small step, but uh, we are trying to. We, we we again we are learning with with all this. All the same, no, like, all think, this, um, yeah, let's say like this. <laughs> no, I think it's really great. You're really taking care of the community, uh, your own supply chain community, but uh, you're well known for taking care of communities in general uh, with your projects. Um, you say uh, some of the small, uh, small restaurants, they're really suffering and they don't know if they can make it. Uh, yeah. um, they don't know uh, how, yeah, if they have the, uh, the long breath. Uh, to um, to survive this this crisis, um, so you're a, a, um, you have a world famous restaurant. 
So there is a lot of international clientele in your restaurant, Dom. Yeah, that's um, true. How do you think of the, the nearby future? Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, what will happen to your restaurant? Is your clientele, because, the, uh, because of the nobody knows. Nobody the knows. travel Nobody knows. I, I, I really hope to keep them alive. Uh, I think that uh, I hope to reopen Dom uh, in the next few months. But uh, we only will, we will start again if we felt ourselves safe. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, uh, even if the government does, said uh, you guys are allowed to work it again, I don't know if I, yeah. if I'm gonna, I gotta follow those steps. If it, if I didn't feel uh, safe for myself and for my, 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 my team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you have your uh, you have your family at home, of course. It's, yeah. Uh, I think for everyone in the business. So uh, we are talking here on the Best Chef Awards, which is a worldwide community of uh, yeah. uh, chefs and, and food related uh, uh, people. Um, it's of course uh, uh, also a question of responsibility whether you are choosing to reopen again, uh, whether you want to work close or in a one and a half meter economy. Um, that, that, yeah, what, what are your thoughts on this? Because in, in Europe we are talking about this uh, social distance economy. Yeah. Uh, of course, for small we restaurants, might, we, we might we might we might to figure uh, figure out a way to keep working. I mean, I think that uh, that uh, probably we are we are um, we might to create a new system. I don't mm -hmm. think that uh, maybe. For the, this moment, a specific moment that, 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 that uh, supposedly we are reopening our restaurant, we will be allowed to serve nearby or do seven courses, 10 courses, 15 courses. So maybe uh, we will bring back uh, family style meals to avoid, uh, to keep the social distance. So yeah. we don't know. We, we are thinking about, we are talking about. Uh, there is no. I, I, I mean, I, I personally I don't know what will be the no. the, 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 the the near future. What I know that uh, dumb will be dumb, and we, we, we will not stop it. I mean, we are going to fight until my heart stop. Uh, this is the this is the day that I that, 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 yeah. that I I gonna I I I gonna put my hands down. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we are gonna fight hard for it. Oh, yeah, we are yes, gonna of course. Hard. And and I believe you can um, uh, keep on uh, uh, hold on to your philosophy uh, while changing the way you serve the food. Uh, for example, in Dom, you you told uh, you told us you have a fine dining restaurant with a yeah. multi course menu. Yeah. Um, and maybe uh, due to the, the restrictions of the coronavirus, we have to really change this whole concept of the fine dining experience, the, yeah. the big tasting menu experience. Yeah. Um, but still, of course, you are, uh, you are Alex Atala and uh, you have the philosophy of your restaurant. I, I believe you can hold on to this and, and create something new for, uh, yeah, for the guests to come. Um, there's a, uh, also a, a question. I see a lot of uh, uh, comments. <laughs> I really hope you have a lot of comments. And um, there are some people. Uh, they are asking if you have any tips for, uh, uh, yeah, for your colleagues around the world. Well, be positive. Keep cooking. Keep cooking. Cooking is not only feed people. Cooking is, it, it is about you. Be happy. Make it. We choose our profession because we can barely do miracles. We transform uh, uh, natural ingredients in something delicious, yeah. and this is a way to 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 to, to keep your mind your mind healthy and and, and active. So keep keep cooking, keep sharing. Even if you don't know, if you didn't have anyone to eating with you. Give for someone. There's always someone needing. Maybe an 
old men here next door. Uh -huh. They are not allowed to go to jail. So, so ooh, ooh. it is a moment to learn so, something. We might to be generous. We might to be helpful. We might to be fraternal. And 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 keep cooking, man. Keep cooking. Uh, keep it is it, it, it is it is our our lifetime commitment. That's nice. Very nice message, and I think it's a very powerful message. What you're saying. Um, uh, I think you started this conversation with um, the uh, uh, power of speech, which we chefs have. Well, the uh, the bigger the chef, the more impact uh, his words can have or her words can have. Um, and you're saying we have to really help each other and maybe your neighbor or the old woman living across the street go out and uh, and and uh, never stop. That's it, right? Yeah, yeah. Never, never stop. <laughs> Simple like this. Okay. <laughs> um, I believe you was a was a DJ in the past. Do you have some yes. time to pick up the music again? Or, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I always uh, I always have music around me. Um, the only thing about me that I didn't put any music it is when I'm cooking in the restaurant. Uh, why? Because we might. It is yeah. a, our way to maintain or to keep the focus. Mm -hmm. uh, so we didn't put any music in, the, in, in, in our cuisines. But in my daily life, food will never, never, ever uh, be a part of me. I mean, I, I love music. I start, as you said, my, well, I worked as a, as a DJ back in the days about uh, 30 years ago. And music is my, one of my passions. Nice, um, and and you uh, you also uh, you're now back in Brazil, of course, for a long time already. Uh, but you went to Europe uh, to really learn some some uh, European cuisine, right? Can you yeah. Uh, yeah. can you tell us a little bit because I don't know everyone knows your story. Uh, if they okay. don't, they can watch uh, the Netflix series Chef's Table because <laughs> Alex Atala also has an episode on this uh, channel. Uh, but maybe you can share a little bit of your like your uh, your career. Okay, um, born and raised in a in a suburban area uh, in, uh, here in São Paulo. Uh, I was teenager when I started to listen or I discovered punk rock music, and I just freak out with that. I mean, and I, that, that this has became my motto, my, my, my obsession in, in, back in the days. So mm -hmm. I started to enjoy punk rock, through the punk rock, I started to work in, 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 in a nightclub. In this nightclub, I, 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 I made a few contacts with, uh, with European people, and I have this dream to live in, in Europe and see concerts and see shows and and. And, and, and have that experience. So yeah. I sold my everything, which is, it, 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 it was not as much thing as you can imagine. <laughs> and, and I decided, decided to make this classical backpack trip. I was barely 18. Uh, I went to Europe and I became, uh, wow, fascinated by, by everything. It, 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 it was a new world from, it, it is a new everything for mm -hmm. me. So I decided to not went back to Brazil. And to stay in Europe, I might to face it, two big problems. First one was make money. So I started to work in, in a construction business, painting walls. And, oh, yes. and the second one, it was have a visa. And to have oh, a visa, really? one of the, those guys who was working with us was doing chef school, uh, culinary school. And I said, well, this, is, this is can be cool. This, is, this, is, this is can be a way to, to have my visa. As soon as I, as I start to, I went to chef school, to culinary school, I, I, I was invited to, to, to make small jobs to, to, to help in, a, in, a, in a events or, or, or functions. So I started to make money with uh, working in the kitchen, and I uh -huh. realized that it's much more fun to be a chef than painting the walls. So <laughs> yeah, I, I never ever stopped after <laughs> that. I, 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 I lived six years in, in, in Europe, basically France, uh, Belgium, and Italy. 
uh, went back in Brazil, 94, 99, I opened my own restaurant, which is Dom, mm -hmm. and 30 years has passed like this. Uh, wow, this, this nice. is a, a short way. Uh, nice. But it's actually your, you just rolled into our business um, throughout the necessity for a visa and for a job, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and in Brazil, not in Europe as well, but in Brazil mainly, uh, uh, be a chef wasn't cool. It wasn't a, a people. It, 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 it is a second, completely secondary job. I mean, so people back is in the day. Still, still today? No, 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 no. Nowadays it's super trendy. I mean, beautiful girly girls <laughs> go to the mall with a uh, chef's whites, <laughs> but, no, 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 but... Uh, which is cool. Which is cool. I, 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 I'm really happy that I have the possibility, the bless to live those two moments and mm -hmm. see the transitions and make part of this transition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because uh, uh, of course we have, here we have the same. We, uh, when, when you're going to your uh, mother-in-law 30 years ago, 35 years ago, a chef wasn't really a popular... Uh, no, 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 uh, not at all. <laughs> so, but so in this transition, uh, do you think in Brazil it's... Um, um, can you tell us when, when, did, when did this transition happen? Was it uh, from the beginning of the 90s or maybe later? Um, begin, begin, beginning of 2000, start to change, really changing. Mm -hmm. So 2000 to 2000, 2010, da, 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 that was the, 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 the moment where Brazil right. started to look in chefs in a different way. Nice, yeah. Wow. Nice. Share a lot of, uh, of, of positive. What, what was fun? What was fun for myself as well? That uh, back in the days when I went to to, to culinary world, when I started to working as a chef, uh, I I I'm already have uh, tattoos. So back in the days in a big restaurant, three star restaurants, thinking of something like that, I used to cover myself because uh, mm -hmm. back in the days, have a tattoo is it, it wasn't cool. Yeah. So nowadays now everybody have, uh, have a tattoo, so I'm super happy for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I can mean, imagine. Be a chef nowadays is much more open, it's much more relaxing, it's much more respectful. Mm -hmm. it, it is much more, you, you don't need to cover yourself. You can be, you, you can have long hair, you can have beard, you can have tattoos, we can be a woman, you can be a man, doesn't fucking matter. No. The thing is, you are chef, and you, you we are respected for it. So this is this is super cool. This is super beautiful to 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 to. Or it, it is a blast again to 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 see this transition or to make part of it. Yeah, and uh, uh, since you were actually on the on the start of this uh, transition in your own country, um, do you believe the the whole uh, gastronomy in Brazil in general? grew with it and you you played a part in this well i don't know if i can say that i almost i was just part of it i mean it is impossible to talk about brazilian gastronomy only talking about myself mm -hmm. french chefs italian chefs started uh, brazilian chefs as well uh so i i have been introduced for culinary amazonic world for a chef called paulo martins which for me is a kind of master All and, right. and, and 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 of course i help to spread this message but i i i'm not feel comfortable said uh, i did uh i feel comfortable said we did we did that's good <laughs> all right alex um so we are talking for uh, 30 minutes now um <laughs> Uh, we've talked about some practical things uh, according to the coronavirus. Uh, you also talked about some personal things. You have more time at home. You really enjoy yep. cooking for your family. Um, uh, but at the same time, uh, Dom is closed now. And um, do you have any perspective in a period of time when it's going to be back? Uh, well, not too normal, but there's no perspective at no. all. No perspective at all. Again, uh, 
It is. It is. It is. It is. It is tough for us personally. Uh, Dom is. It, 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 Dom is not my business. Dom is my dream, my personal mm -hmm. dream. Everything that I did in my life, it is Dom. And I did. I. I. I, I didn't. I, I. I don't did that. We did that. My team did that. So I have people who worked with me for 10 years, 20 years, and 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 facing them and said, I, I don't know if uh, when this nightmare going to finish. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it is, man, it's a nightmare. Man, it's a nightmare. It is, it is, it is heartbreaking. But uh, again, we might be positive. I might encourage that. I, 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 I can face my team and said, I don't know. Uh, no, no. We might, uh, even if I don't know when that shit will be finished, I might keep inspired people and said to them, we are going to, Find a way to, to even if I personally I believe that uh, in a short I I, I told you before uh, in a short period I and mean, in a short time we will we, we find dine will be will be collapsed and but we we, we will find a way we, we are not happy because we have we are, we are a fine dine restaurant we are happy mm -hmm. because we are chef we yeah. are a team so we are going to find a new way to to keep this dream alive. Nice. Very this nice. is important yeah, for me. I mean, uh, 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 sorry guys, if I put my feet on the ground, I, and I, I, I don't want to, I, I don't want to spread a bad message, but uh, I want to, I, I, I want to tell for you, chefs who make part of our one team or have your own team, to keep motivated, to keep positive, to keep mm -hmm. believing in your dream, which is your restaurant. Nice. These are very nice words, Alex. Um, so you have uh, also some friends around the world in your chef's community. Do you have uh, sí. contact with them? Do you? Uh... Yeah, yeah, we are talking regularly with some chefs. Actually, a few days ago, Massimo called me and said, "Alex, next Saturday, can you do the?" the... Actually, he invited me to last Saturday. I wasn't. I, I couldn't do it him. Uh, mm -hmm. But next Saturday, uh, I, I, I'll be with Massimo doing cooking or something, participating. Uh, so you do it online? The, the online, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we are talking with some chef. I'm talking with some good chefs from all over the world, in Japan, in New York, mm -hmm. in, in, in everywhere, to understand bad, better the situation and learn yeah. uh, and share possibilities and have, a, have some, some light to guide us. Uh, with the, no, no, no one uh, has a, has a, uh, are one hundred percent secure that uh, no. what's going to be in, in, in a near future. So sharing is, is is very important. Yeah. Well, we are really glad you are sharing um, your thoughts on this uh, Corona crisis and uh, the way you are dealing with it in uh, well, straight from uh, Sao Paulo, Brazil. Um, for all the viewers, of course, we are talking here with Mr. Alex Atala, a great chef, and uh, we have asked him uh, yeah, how he deals with this situation. Um, uh, yeah, I think um, we're going to ask you one final question, and that is... Uh, <laughs> um, uh, throughout the whole conversation, you, you were talking about staying positive, um, even when when... You know, you're worried with the hands in your hair. Um, stay positive and try to find maybe a creative way and maybe yeah. Uh, yeah, a creative way of dealing with the situation and maybe in a transition to a, a new uh, way of fine dining globally in general. Um, yeah. Did you have any ideas on how you're going to uh, introduce them in your own businesses? Did you thought already about what possible scenarios or what possible concepts are uh, uh, future proof, proof? Yes. Uh, supporting small producers and small business. This is something that uh, we are, we, we, big, big companies will survive it. So survive, thanks God, mm -hmm. they, they will survive. And, but the way that, uh, we are facing or, or trying to, 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 to do in the near future is supporting small producers and small business. Uh, uh, they, they, they need our help. 
second thing, be positive. Another thing that, 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 that we, are, we are, I believe, it is find a new way to serve uh, our, our, our soul, our, our dream, our, our the, maybe, maybe fine dining will be not easily for us in a short, in a short time, but uh, maybe design a new tasting menu Mm -hmm. uh, maybe family style, maybe big portions, big. I don't know exactly, how, but uh, we are gonna we, we are work on it. How we can we we, we can keep a, a keep in doing taste menu with a less service, not because we don't like serves. We yeah. love it, our, our service. We love our our front team, but we might to keep the, the, the social distance and this is this is a new concern this is a new mm -hmm. ingredient in the kitchen so we 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 are dealing with, with it and then I, I i'm 100% uh, confident that, that, that uh, we are, we, we are going to do we are going to find a way and mm -hmm. chefs we will will be bring new possibilities so we will community the contact with the community will be will be so important to share those possibilities and yeah. we keep helping each other Very nice, very nice to hear. Okay. So, a uh, big thing for all chefs at home, uh, try to support your local small producers because they're the fundament of what we are doing. Alex really uh, is, uh, yeah, yeah. this is really what you're standing for. And I believe <laughs> it's a really positive thing. And I, I think it's uh, the most sustainable thing for uh, your community. Um, so, thank you very much for your... Uh, Nice words, Thank you, your thoughts on uh, gastronomy, but also sharing your personal story straight from uh, Brazil. And uh, if anyone has some questions, of course, you can later on uh, uh, send them to the Best Chef Awards and maybe we can answer them. Uh, for now, uh, we'll be back next week with another uh, international chef to share the situation, personal situation from their uh, country or region. Um, And Alex Atala, I want to thank you again uh, for taking the time, uh, speaking to us, speaking to our community worldwide. And um, I wish you all the best. Uh, thank you. And thank you uh, very much for your positivity because I feel some extra energy now as well. <laughs> thank all you, right. guys. Thank you for everybody who say hi here for the lots of the, the, the for this amount of... Uh, Uh, a message that I, that you guys have ascended for us and keep positive keep local keep uh, dreaming uh, this is beautiful things and bad things there one point in common they start and they ending so we are we, we are surviving nice. uh, and, and restaurant business will be and for you guys from the best chef awards Uh, uh, thank you so much to keep doing what you guys are doing, not only connecting with our community, but uh, mm -hmm. keep inspiring us to sharing, to thank you for this beautiful opportunity. All right. Thank you very much, Alex. Thank you. And, uh, we can say ciao. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao. Todo mundo. Ciao. Obrigado. <laughs> All right. <laughs> thank you, everyone. Okay. Best Brazilian wishes for all over the world. <laughs> For all of the world, okay, so you hear it. Thank, thank you very you. much. Beautiful, thank you.